Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is a Valentine's Day special. Uh, this is a love reading. We have three decks here and we are asking the question, are we going to be lucky in love on this Valentine's? Now this reading is timeless, so you can come to it at any point in time. And if it's not around Valentine's, and if you're just asking, are you going to be lucky in love? You could give it your own time frame. So you could give it a time frame of two days or two weeks or two months or any amount of time really. It's up to you. I only have three options today. It's option one here, option two, and option three. Uh, so make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp, which you'll find in the description box, and that will lead you to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, we're asking, are we going to be lucky in love? Are we going to be lucky in love? So I'm just going to pull out cards as I feel that they need to come out. Okay, so here I am inclined to say that, yes, you are going to be lucky in love, but you need to be careful or cautious rather about how you behave or how you come across because uh, things that you say or things that you may think, uh, which is kind of residual from past relationships or your idea of love could actually work against you. And the advice is actually just to go with the flow and to go with the feeling that you have, as opposed to, um, you know, trying to stop things from actually happening. Um, and it's also to, to be aware that the person that you might be interacting with is quite open and quite vivacious and, and quite um, outgoing and eager. And so don't be put off by this and don't be you know, running away uh, from this or, or taking two steps back for every step forward that they take because that is going to be your kind of instinct or your initial response. But it's actually something that you need to curb as far as this is concerned. The other message I'm getting here is that if you actually are open to being in a love relationship or being with somebody that you love. This actually applies also if you're in a relationship already. So, you know, what they're saying is that there's a chance here for the renewal of love. And one of the things that the ways in which you can do this is actually by thinking twice about how you how you respond to people and how you actually or how you respond to your loved one how you actually interact with them on a regular basis. So if you are in this long-term relationship, it's about really watching your words, watching what you could be doing um, that could be hurting the other person. This is not to say that you need to change yourself in any way, but rather that there there may be some things that you're doing that is, is scaring the other person away, perhaps not allowing the other person to come forth in the way that they would if you were not um, behaving this particular way. So this message is actually for those of you who are in relationships. If you are actually wondering if you're going to be meeting somebody soon or, or being with someone, then the chances of this happening is very, very good. And you're likely to meet this person in a, um, in a, I would say like a nightclub environment or a bar or a very a uh, place where, where the where it's uh, the energy is quite bustling. It's not. It could be also a bazaar or a market uh, where you would meet this person. It's not um, necessarily in a romantic setting or in, online or in um, in a garden or outdoors or something. It feels like a place where you you'd meet this person like indoors and. Um, 
where it's quite busy or it could be a marketplace which is quite covered but not um but it could be outdoors but but very covered so uh, lots of alleyways and uh, coverings over these alleyways the other message i'm getting here is uh, for those of you who are seeking love and who are in love relationships already and you're wondering if you're going to be lucky in love uh, is to give, stop giving yourself such a hard time it feels like you're being really really hard on yourself and this is something that you project outward and the your partner or potential partner could be the person who has to bear this is is basically having to deal with this and I feel that if you would just be nicer to yourself then you would find that um, things will flow a lot more easy easier than it has been flowing until now so there is your message for those of you who've chosen the first option here. I do think you are going to be lucky in love if you're just asking for a yes or no answer. And how you proceed is going to be the determining factor of how long that love stays in your life. All right. So thank you for coming by. And I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. And if you're coming by when it's not Valentine's Day, then I wish you all much love anyway. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're asking, are you going to be lucky in love? These cards are somewhat difficult to shuffle, but I will try my best. feel like that I'm not quite ready to take the cards as yet um, but I do think that whatever is popping out right now is going to pop out again soon so once again the question we're asking is are we going to be lucky in love I'm going to go ahead and make the selection by going through the cards this feels right Okay, this also feels right and I'm going to go with this one as well so there are actually two cards here I'm going to go with all these cards here because it feels actually right So basically, I would say that you're definitely going to be lucky in love. There's so many indications here uh, to that effect. But I do feel that this is going to take a little bit more time than you actually, than you would hope that it would take. So there's a feeling that I get here that um, you actually would like to be lucky in love already. Like this is something that you've been waiting for and hoping for for quite some time already. And... Um, it feels like way, way too long. And when I say it's going to be a bit longer, it's as if the feeling is like, really, is it going to be longer? Because that's not what I want to hear. But I do think that you've been through some things that require healing and require you taking better care of yourself so that you can actually uh, come into a space in which you're ready for a relationship and you're ready to give of yourself. So it's almost like, if you had to receive that love that you're hoping for right now, that you would repel it, or you wouldn't see it, it would not even, you wouldn't even recognize it as love. Because it's almost like um, the language of love that you speak has been distorted. And so even if someone does the things that would normally please you, right now, there's nothing that anyone can do to actually please you in love until you've you've worked through certain things 
Now that might anger some of you who are listening to this message and my intention is not to make you angry, but rather to let you know that um, you need more time right now. You need more time for you and you are your own priority right now. And as you come into the space where you feel satisfied and complete in yourself and blissful in yourself, that is when you will feel and you will find that this person enters your life and and stays in your life. And that's when it's almost as if you feel like you've reached the end of a cycle or you've completed something in your life. It might feel, you might even feel old. You might even feel like, you know, you don't even have the love coming into your life or you can't even expect love into your life. And it's at this point that love actually does enter your life and you feel like a teenager again. And it's a wonderful feeling. Now, I know I'm speaking only here about those of you who are not in relationships, but how this re- this message applies to those of you who are in relationships is as follows. In order to experience the love that you need to experience or the love that you first experienced in your relationship or simply that delightful feeling of love, you need to work through or heal certain aspects of yourself which have been hurt in the past. Now, this is not to say that others have necessarily hurt you, although that might well be the case, but rather that you are holding on to lots of hurt. It's like a lot of grief. Um, You're holding on to a lot of grief in your life. So I don't know whether you've been in situations where you've lost loved ones or you've been, you've had some kind of loss in your life, whether it's in, in terms of a career or of course, in terms of love, and um, it's left you feeling a bit desolate and quite empty. And what it's saying here is that it could be the partner that you're with right now who's left you feeling this way. And what it's saying is that, you know, you need to find that bliss inside of you. And as you do so, you're going to be vibrating at a different level. You're going to be sending out different energy uh, signals. And At that moment, you're going to realize that this person that you that you love or that is in part of your life right now is actually the one that you want to be with. And you're going to feel quite complete with this person or quite whole as as if, you know, you've come a long way and here you are together now. Now, there's one other message here for those of you who are in relationships. If you are in a situation where you're thinking of leaving your current partner, it, this, these cards also talk about new love and a chance that you could actually meet somebody who, who after you've entered a relationship or after you've come into, after you've completed a cycle in your current relationship. And once again, the key to this is through feeling that bliss inside of you. It's through healing yourself and feeling that bliss inside of you feeling that joy inside of you and not actually awaiting that from someone outside of you. This is really a really important message for those of you who've chosen this option here. So that is your reading for those of you who've chosen the second option, which where these uh, cards, the heart terror, I think it's called. And I hope that message has helped you and has resonated with you. So moving on to the last deck here, those of you who've chosen this deck, we are asking the same question. Are we going to be lucky in love? Are we going to be lucky in love? And once again, you can choose your time frame. It could pertain to you at this moment, or you can choose a time frame for yourself. There's your first card. So if you're wondering what these, this deck is, it is the Kama Sutra deck. So the message here talks about actually being lucky in love, but it also talks about being able to lose that love with quite quite a lot of ease or quite rapidly. And it talks also about taking care not to lose that love or taking care to 
manage that love in some kind of way. So overtly, when looking at these cards, one may not really see that that there is going to be luck in love. But I would say that you start off with a good chance that luck is there. This, in, in terms of being lucky in love, either with in a partnership that you're already in or with somebody else, somebody new, there's definitely the chance of you being lucky in love. And it's up to you as to, to what happens thereafter, right? So it can go quickly downhill thereafter. And the advice here is to actually maintain your control in in yourself. This is not to say that you need to be controlling or to be controlling of the other. It's simply to keep your head above, above water or keep your head screwed on right as the saying goes. And just be aware of what's actually going on. Use your capacity to your instinctual capacity as well as your intellect to be able to determine the fruit or the fruitfulness rather of this relationship and where it's heading to. So yes, you have a good chance of being lucky in love. But once again, it can go quickly south. And the reason I say that is because we have cards here where there's judgment and uh, criticism of the other or where one person is is having more control or more power than the other person. And the other person is being uh, fairly um, manipulative or using their wiles, so to say, to actually get their way. The The option here is, is talking about being assertive and being um, clear about what it is that you want and allowing that to to maintaining that, allowing that to maintain itself. Because as soon as you get into the realm of um, playing games or where there's any kind of manipulation, either from you or your partner or potential partner, you're going to be derailed and it's not going to be so lucky thereafter. It's going to go down a path which is not exactly um, a happy path or not one where one may feel secure in love or or happy, just joyful in love. And so the advice here is to, as I said, is already, but just to reiterate, is to keep a clear head, use your instinct and be firm and don't lose yourself in this love. Don't lose yourself. Just be, keep a part of you to yourself and watch and observe the situation. And if you find that um, you are being manipulated in any way or you are uh, finding that uh, you're becoming critical or judgmental or or easily upset with this person, then take a step back and reevaluate the situation and see what you can do to change that. Uh, take measures to actually avoid that or to to overcome that uh, in some way, because this is actually going to make uh, a huge difference in terms of how things proceed. So I just want to go ahead here and choose another card for you because I don't like to leave you with a negative message. Um, and even if the message is not a yes, you are going to be lucky in love, which it is here, it is a yes. I still don't want to leave you with something that is potentially not as good. So let's just see what else the cards have to say here. Okay, so here there's a good chance of you actually enjoying uh, the fruits of your labor. The, this this relationship is not necessarily, or potential relationship, is not something that's necessarily negative. I think these are just warnings here that they're giving us. And they did give us the advice as to how to deal with it as well. But they're saying that it's not only about that. You know, there is a lot of enjoyment that could be had, and a lot of romance, and being able to enjoy material things, but not just material things, but earthy things. So perhaps going out and enjoying um, the moonlight or being outdoors at night or going to shows at night or going to light shows. I feel like light is, an, is something that's, um, that's prominent here. Or going to some kind of concert at night, um, enjoying romantic things and, and um, or getaways and enjoying each other physically, erotically as well. 
It's also talking about being able to enjoy spending time with each other and and doing things that are materialistic with each other. So not necessarily sporty things, but um, things like uh, going shopping or traveling or going to places where, you know, like perhaps even art galleries, but buying art, doing things uh, such as that. But there's a feeling here of, of having worked for this and having earned it and enjoying the fruits of that labor. So it might be that you start off on a good note and then you find that, you know, it takes a bit of time for you to get um, acquainted with each other and knowing how to deal with each other. And so you go through a patch where things are a bit awry and then you find that it actually is worth it at the end because you are, you're quite happy and you're really enjoying each other and you, you are in a good place with each other. You actually come to be um you come to meet each other in a in a space which is special to you both and where both your needs are being served here and it's not unbalanced in any way so i definitely think that this is something that can be overcome here so i want to say yes you know you are going to be lucky in love at the beginning and in the long term here even though you may go through some stuff with this person now, I want to say that this is true for those who are single as well as those in, who are in a relationship. So if you're in a relationship and if you are finding that you are, you, you, there is love there and there's um, things are going well, but, you know, there are times when you may have some difficulties. I think that just wait uh, for this period to end. It's going to end and, and you're going to find that you're going to be enjoying each other a lot more. And, you know, try to uh, set firm boundaries as far as um, your needs are concerned. So ensure that your needs are being met and, and prioritize your needs in, in your relationship. Because the, there's a chance here that this person may be kind of taking advantage of you or taking advantage of your good nature or um, not pulling their weight in the relationship. When this person's not pulling their weight or one of you are not pulling your weight in the relationship, then it can go down a path which is not so easy to retreat from or to um, back out of. It, just be aware of that and, and manage that as you go along because if you manage that situation, you are going to find that there is a lot to be enjoyed here. Um, between you and it could be that you know there isn't such a thing as a manipulation or taking advantage it could just be that there's a misunderstanding about that and I feel like the energies lend themselves to that if you are watching this at the time at which I'm uploading this which is uh, on, on Valentine's Day of 2020. All right so I hope that has been helpful if not uh, exactly what you would like to hear. I wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. May you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and may you all be very lucky in love. Okay, so many blessings from Kismet Rising.